Hey. Okay. And, um, Brandon Lenz, he says, Pops and Bud Light sponsorship. You got it, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, you actually like, have Bud Light. I didn't realize you have one. I didn't even I didn't mm -hmm. like that one. Yeah, I always have one for the fight, you know? Yeah, so... so uh, the people are going nuts right now because cause Pops is here. They said... Hey, yeah, man, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been coming to here and there, but uh, I let you run the show because I mean, I mean, you got a good show and people are really interested. You know what I mean? I can't put you at the wrong. Shut up, Taiko. No, I'm not. My daughter. Oh, I know who it is. You got to tell me who it is. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly who yeah. it is. Yeah. So, uh, come on, Lucas. Come on, Lucas. Come on, Lucas. I mean, uh, you had a good following and a good audience at, towards the end, so it turned out really good to have a lot of people support you, and I thank them for that. Hey, pop, I'm gonna cut you off right now because uh, we got some things. You got. We got my man Banks. Let's see what Banks has to say. I think what's up, Banks? What's going on, Chu? What's going on, Pop? How you doing, man? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Pop, so why do you want to see Dylan fight Wilder? Well, I want to see that because um, when Dylan went to get that mandatory, when Wilder was up on the top of the hill, right? He he didn't want to give he didn't want to give um Dylan White the opportunity. So I want to see Wilder give him the opportunity, and I want to see Wilder, and I want I mean I want to see Dylan give him the opportunity, and I want to see. Dylan White knocked the fuck out of Wilder. Well, yeah. I honestly believe Wilder gave everybody the opportunity who wanted to fight. But I seriously doubt Dylan White would be able to knock the shit out of Wilder. Now, he got a hell of a left hook. Yeah. But I just don't think he can reach Wilder, man. There's no way to find out. Now, you're right. You probably, probably know what you're saying. I just, I just, I, I just want to see the fight because um, it'd be a great fight just to see what Wilder's going to come out with, how he's going to redeem himself. And how probably he's gonna go in, and that would that be a big challenge for him against uh, Dylan White, to be honest with you. And uh, Dylan White is a brawler. He's gonna go in and throw like he did tonight. So it's not just gonna be just uh, Wilder can just sit back and wait for that one, for that right, one right hand punch that he got. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen against uh, Dylan White. But but Wilder got a good job too, man. Did you see all them jabs he threw in that first Fury fight? Yeah, early in the fight. Shit, he beat yeah, Fury for a whole six rounds. Nah. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm yeah, gonna tell you like this. Seven, eight, and nine. No, six, seven, eight, and ten. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna go through like this, man. You gotta watch it again. I'll watch it over and over. Fury ain't got nothing for nobody. Listen, if I had if I had a to choose between Wilder and Dylan White, who's the better skilled fighter, I'm taking White. I'll leave it like that. Well, I, I mean why the height, man? He got some body punches too. You know, you can't even forget that he got good body shots and everything. But he get tired, man. And if she just jab him and stay on the outside, he ain't gonna be able to do nothing but look stupid. Who's talking about uh, White? Yeah, White. Yeah, but I'm okay. But if, if White establishes that jab like he can, like he can do, that I I truly doubt that Wilder can do. And he continues doing it, and, and he comes forward and he throws that over right hand and throws the other punches that Wilder can't throw. Because Wallace only known for that right hand, and now he's getting getting more movement and using that jab. Come on, man! You remember when I, um? You, I don't you, you know remember what you're talking about, Pops? I just don't hey, see Banks. it. Hey, hey, Banks! You, you remember who was teaching? Hey, hey, Banks! You know who was teaching Wallace how to throw how to throw a jab? I know it wasn't on what's the name. Who you who? 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 You know who, who taught Wallace how to throw a jab? He should be ashamed who? of himself. Who? Come on, man! You should know. <laughs> who you want to say, Mark no, Lennox Ooh. Lewis teaching him. Lennox Lewis. Oh, man, I saw that sketch, man. I don't... Did you see that? Come on, man, I saw that sketch, man. Okay, but what like, Lennox Lewis was telling him was right that it was showing up the distance. But that's but, just for Lennox Lewis, man. That ain't for listen, everybody. Listen, all I'm saying is, if you got Lennox Lewis pulling you to the side to throw a jab, and you're supposed to have a high, a great team that you have, a trainer, and, and no disrespect to Brilliant, because Brilliant was the best trade that Wilder ever had and will always have, even man, though he's gone seen, now. Have you seen Brilliant mid work, man? Have you seen his mid work? He look like an old man about to fall over. That ain't no good shit. I've seen it. That ain't nothing good about that. Brilliant. About what? About it's Brilliant? Mid it's mid work. Yeah, there ain't nothing good about that. Be honest, True. Is that good mid work? I mean, I'll talk. I didn't think we were going to Man, hey, nah. How do you want to look at it? I will still respect, I will still respect uh, Brillen a lot more than any other trains he got for the simple fact that Brillen had enough balls to save Wilder from getting a real ass whipping from Fury. And one thing that I can't respect, hold on, one thing I cannot respect about Wilder, and I will say this until I see it, since he got his ass whooped by Fury, 
He has to come down to earth and accept his defeat like a man to move on. I mean, what do you think? What do you think? He's a king, and he's all this for all these people, and he's gonna carry these people, and he's gonna do this, and he's a fucking warrior. But before you're a warrior, you gotta man up. If, if me, Beck, me, you go into a fight, and, and I call you out, and you and you beat the shit out of me, and I have no teeth right now, you knock all my teeth out, right? <laughs> and, and I'm gonna be better than you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I say, okay, okay, Beck, you just knocked the fuck out of all my teeth, and you all did that, and I move on, and I fight the next one. Has Waldo done that yet? Hell no. No, he tried to fight Fur and Fur and Renner. He don't want to fight him. Hold on, hold on. You didn't answer my question. Fight him no more. You didn't ask, no, no, you didn't answer my question. The question He's I asked you was. Waldo, We're not talking about you and I, Pop. No, no, no. What I'm saying, I'm getting back to you. Fur and Renner. I'm saying, I'm saying, but you're not answering the question. I don't care if you want to fight Fur and Renner. I'm going to cut you off. If I beat you up, if you want revenge, I'm going to say you two are already fighting me. No, but Max, but the point is this. Has Wilder come to this day since he lost that fight to Fury? Has he admitted that he lost? Just answer me that. He lost, he admitted it at the end of the fight in the press conference. In, in, he admitted it. Yeah, he said I lost. He came out, just came out, just said just like that. He just lost, just like that. He was saying it. At the end of the fight, he said he lost, yeah. Okay, I, I I didn't catch that. I just catch him no, making he, all kinds of excuses. He but, said uh, it, but then but then, but then once once reality set in, he's like, oh no, he had he had to come up with excuses. And that's what I'm that's saying. Why that's him why he lost. So you got to say something. What you got to say? I just got I beat I got beat by the better man. That yeah, would have okay. been Fury ain't the better man. Fury ain't nothing. Okay. But okay. how is he nothing? I'm trying to figure out. Why do you think he's not the You know what I mean? He cannot boss, man. I'm telling you, I watched that first fight with Wilder. It, it, he ain't nothing, man. The I second like fight, book. he beat Wilder up. But I swear to God, to me, just like Pavecki in the night, couldn't stand up. It was the same thing with Wilder. Something went on with that. How about I, Okay, well, let, me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What the hell does this goddamn uh, costume got to do with him getting in the ring and not being in shape? Again, I ain't talking about no costume. I don't know. I, 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 mean, I don't know. Hey, hold, hold, I'm talking about hold, hold. no costume. I'm going to cut I'm you off. About, I'm talking about what I'm talking about. I'm going to get I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm say this, man. It's a couple of things I've never seen before, before okay. a fight, when they're showing fighters. Okay. First, mm -hmm. I ain't never seen a fighter laying down, holding his stomach in his latest lap before a fight. I ain't never seen that. Never. Never. <laughs> to, to me, that struck a call, but I didn't never say nothing about it. To nobody. I'm like, that shit was strange. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And then why did it uh, um then Fury and his brother when they see him laying in his lady lap holding his stomach, they go to laughing. Something was strange about the shit, man. It's it just point blank period. Something was strange about it. Are you right, saying right, right. fixed? So Everything. okay, go, going forward. Going I'm, forward, are you saying you... the fight was fixed? Um, I'm not saying it was fixed, but I'm saying something went wrong and something wasn't right. That's all I'm saying. You okay. know what I'm saying? What, and, what and, and, and I think First, should stop being scared and go ahead and get that man his fight. And stop holding up shit. If not, why does you got, uh, if, if, if Fury ain't gonna fight him, then AJ should fight him. I don't know why y'all wanna throw Dylan White in front of him. This guy just a goddamn gatekeeper to the champion. He ain't never been a world champ, man. He has never got a shot. Be, he right. he right. That should be made like goddamn medals, like Olympic medals. They shouldn't even be real belts. But they should be like trophies or something. And it, it was mostly what, Wilder's fault. He never had a shot because Wild, Wilder didn't want to fight him. That's a fact. Right, well, right, that's right, what John say. Over here, we don't see it that way. So I no, mean, I'm no, not going to argue those points. Hey, I mean, you, why? How somebody gonna tell somebody I'll fight to give me a million? Like, we'll give you a million straight, and that's it, and all that kind of shit. You can't make no. You can't dictate what a champion gonna. What you're gonna pay a champion to fight your paper champion? He the real okay. champion. This guy's silver champion. You gonna make okay. him tell the champ? Well, I, he gonna I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. If 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 a fighter offers another fighter a career high payday, let's say let's say one fighter made two million dollars and they offer a fighter four million dollars and the and the guy and, and the guy who got offered four million dollars turns it down, is that a duck? No, it's not a duck because it's about oh. dignity, man. It ain't about money. It's How no, it's it's about money. money. I just said what it was about. This guy's the real champion. White is the silver champion. How he gonna tell the real real champion that we're gonna pay you this? Cause he wants to fight him. He, well, he, he should have went. They should have sat down and agreed. You ain't gonna just tell me if I'm the champ what you what I'm gonna get. I'm fighting. That, 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 you ain't gonna tell me. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna get. I got yeah, I get you. You the paper yeah, champ. I, 
I, get, I understand what you're saying, man. You say he's the A sign that part. You're saying I ain't gonna have no mandatory to tell me what to pay me when I'm the champ. He was never the mandatory play. either. He wasn't never the mandatory. He was never the mandatory. What? He was never one contender. Okay. At all. One contender. He wasn't okay. never mandatory, and we and, and that's another thing. WBC need to get the fuck on out. Somebody just need to stop recognizing them, man, because they fuck up the whole game with what they you do. You know what? I, I, actually, I, I agree with you there. WBC breaks their own rules. They break their own rules all the time. They're the so world I, boxing I, I corruption. corruption. The world boxing corrupt corruption, I call them. We need they pro. call themselves. They come up so where, um, going further, where, what will you want? How do you want um, Wilder to get to come back up? Or how, who do you want him to fight next? Or what do you want him to do? Just come straight to Joshua and to Fury? I want him to fight Fury next, man. That's who he's supposed to be fighting, ain't it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the deal is. I just know. I know you don't Fury, know, but we see that Fury ain't fighting nobody else. Yeah, well, Fury, Fury wanted to fight in the beginning, and then I don't know what happened. And then uh, when, when Wilder oh, lost, top, top, top. I look rough, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just talking. We just talking boxing, having a good time. That's all. <laughs> just say what you got to say in your mind, you know. This is what, oh, this yeah, is what well, I want to see him fight Fury next time. That's just what it is, man. I can't wait to see him knock Fury ass out. I can't wait to see it. So you you um, you don't think that he should fight Ruiz before he fights um, Fury? He got a rematch clause with Fury. Why would he fight Ruiz? I'm saying, yeah, but uh, I guess what you okay. I'm not gonna. Say, I, I want him to fight Fury, but uh, they already signed. Josh and him already signed. Josh and uh. Yeah, they signed, but Fury himself said he got to knock Wilder out before he fight Joshua. So I don't know why people acting like they didn't hear that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, like to, I mean, like I said, <laughs> listen, if, if you, I want your warrior, I want the warrior to come back out here for all the people that love him or whatever, and I want him to, to climb back because I believe in that. And I'm not saying I don't believe in that from uh, from Wilder because he does have one of the, the most devastating right hands in boxing that any heavyweight's had. I tell you what, Bob, this is what I want me, you, and True School to do. One day, it ain't got to be the day. But we got to sit down and look at that first fight, and we'll see the truth. If we just sit there and talk about it, you'll see the truth, man. I mean, I've only, yeah. wa I've only watched that fight like 10 times, so... You watched that fight 10 <laughs> times? Who, who threw the first punch? Who was the first punch of the fight? Yeah. It was Fury. See? You, well, I don't know how you watched it 10 times and saw that, because that ain't true. It was a Wilder. Wilder through the first, second, and the third. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you but, need to watch it for real. I don't know how you watched it 10 times and say you think it was real. Okay. How about if I say I know? Hold on. We got somebody else right now. We got, uh, I mean, I guess it's Lamar. It says Lamar and Bruce. So let's see who it is. Like, okay. Well, you know that Bruce. How about if I say I know? Hold on. We got somebody else. We got, uh, Hi, guys. I guess it's Lamar. Well, Nathan, what's up, Nathan? Uh, uh, no, you Are you right? Yeah, turn, turn your uh, turn your audio off. I can hear myself. Give me one second. Let me just turn it off. All right, mate. I've turned it off now. So, right. what's up, man? All right, uh, that was a good performance by White, but let's remember, Pavetkin's forty-one years old and he just recovered from COVID. That's not taking anything away from him, but we just oh, need so to he just recovered from COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Which is true. Uh, so really, it was it's what he should have done in the first fight. Dillian White is a good fighter, but he's not on the same level as the other guys, as the top three, as those top two guys. Yeah, he's a gatekeeper for the champion. I mean, he could. The only for me, I would have thought he would have gone for the Trevor Bryan option. To be honest, you know, that's about. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Trevor Bryan, he should he no, should do that. He, that's what he should do because. It's the only way he's going to win a world title, isn't it? Really, let's be honest about it. Unless one of them becomes vacant. What? What you mean by that's the only way he can win a world title? At the minute, because the top, if you think about it, all the belts are, are owned by the people, aren't they, right? So you've got the, the regular belt, which is owned by Trevor Bryan, and Trevor Bryan oh, is not... No, the Trevor, but, but man, that ain't no belt no more. No, I know he isn't, but I'm just saying it's uh, if he wins that, it's a bargaining tool. It's still a belt. It's still classed as a world title. Yeah, you, you can use it. It, it ain't no bargaining tool for travel. Yeah. <laughs> look, you can look at it any way you want, man. Look, it's a belt. And in Britain, that would probably sell as a pay-per-view because that's how silly Eddie Hearn is. He'd probably put the Trevor Bride mm -hmm. fight on pay-per-view. When people over here, when they see a world title, they think, yeah, let's watch this, you know. 
That's how it works. Mm -hmm. But he got a belt tonight. He got a regional. He got interim, a regional interim belt. Interim belt, yeah. interim he got belt. an interim belt. That's the belt that both the interim you to the but, title fight for the WBC. But, yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Yeah. But what could also happen is the winner of Fury, Joshua, could get made up to franchise champion, and then White could get upgraded to the WBC regular champion. But how you know Fury going to beat Wilder? Because that fight's not going to happen yet, is it? Because he has to fight Fury first. Now, how do you know Fury, Wilder, Fury got to fight Wilder first? How you figure they got to fight Fury? Yes, what sir. are you talking about? That's what I meant, sir. But Wilder oh. needs an easy fight to come back and win first. If he, he can't just go in there with Ruiz straight away, Ruiz has got an awkward start. Ruiz? Man, yeah. Why Ruiz even in this conversation? Why you're not? Gonna, you're, you were talking about it earlier. No, no, no. I say Fury got to fight Wilder first before Joshua and Fury fight. Yeah, but they're not having that fight. If you watch the actual stuff, they're not having it. It's Joshua. Well, no, over here, over here, Fury's not having it. And it's not going to be what you're saying. If you read your boxing video, watch your boxing videos, read the news, then you'll know what's going on, right? But they so, lying, man, because cause there ain't enough to fight here. So obviously you haven't done your research. I oh, no, to I done did it. They done signed the fight and everything. Eddie Hearn telling all kind of lies and all this, but don't nobody else want to talk about it but Eddie. If Wilder wanted the fight, he would have signed up for it, wouldn't he? He's been out. They already signed it. It's a rematch contract. Wait, yeah, you I, have, have, I have a question. I got a question for no, Vince. Forget, forget, forget Fury. Do you think Wilder's ever going to fight again, period? I don't think he's going to fight again. Well, if he don't fight Fury, I don't think he's gonna fight again. But if if, if Fury go ahead and stop being a chicken, okay. yeah, he'll fight again. Well, then why 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 is why does does this whole crew have to be revolved around Fury? Why can't he why can't he go fight someone else and, and create the demand to go fight Fury? Well, you I, had to talk to him about that. I'm talking about how I feel. You asked me what I think, so I don't know about. Okay, well, I'm asking you, what do you think about Deontay Wilder sitting on his hands and doing nothing and not trying to make things happen? I don't think he's doing that. He's waiting to see what's going to happen. What what, what they're going to say about making Fury fight him. I think they train him. I think Fury training and I think Wilder training. Yeah, Fury's training to fight Anthony Joshua for undisputed. That's what he's training for. Fury trained to fight whoever he's going to have to fight next. That's what Fury doing. He's told him it's going to be Anthony Joshua. It might be Anthony and it might not be. But that's what Fury doing. Fury don't know who he fighting next. That's why he don't never say who's next. Oh my God, Fury, man, God. He, he did, Fury did say he wants to have two active fights this year, though. He did. He did some. Yeah, he ain't gonna have but one. If he had that. But what about Wilder? The, where's he going from here? If he doesn't get the I fight with Fury, where's he going? All I can say is I feel like I don't know. I feel like Wilder's waiting to see what's gonna happen with Fury. If they make Fury, if they do do the AJ and Fury fight, Wilder probably is gonna fight somebody else because he can't get sit on his ass. But, but they training right now, and well, Wilder why wants Fury. Oh, why Fury trying to get out of it because he don't want to get knocked out. But, if AJ still gonna knock his ass oh, out, then he fight AJ. No, they boxed twenty four rounds, and Deontay Wilder never knocked him out. Like, what do you mean? He, he, man, he knocked that nigga down two times. Yeah, twenty four rounds. Yeah, twenty four rounds to knock him out, and he never knocked him out. He knocked him out in the on first fight. No, he didn't. How come he did? Uh, you can't say see what happened if you get knocked out, because that means you dead. Wilder is now ranked four in the WBO. He knocked him out in the 12th round and he knocked him down in the what? The seventh or the eighth? Yeah, he got he got dropped twice, but he got up. Like I say, Fury only won six, seven, eight, and ten. That was the only round Fury won in that fight, dog. That was the only one. Now in the second fight, he he won he won every round after the first. I mean he listen, he 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 left no doubt in that second fight. He he Yeah, he, he cheated that whole second fight though. He got air weights in the gloves and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Bank, I gotta comment on this, Bank. You said, you said, you talk about that, that glove conspiracy, right? But no, was I'm it one? About he, I don't know about no glove conspiracy. I feel like he had airways in the gloves and everything. Yeah, I feel like that. And you see how stupid he was throwing that right hand. That joke was throwing no matter what he was he there, trying to, throw it to me, trying to get that right hand. That shit looked so stupid. He trying to get that right hand in. Just watch it. It just looks stupid. He trying to hit him with it every time. <laughs> I mean, he knows so the right him. So, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm reading from you, Banks, is that um, you don't, do you, do you accept that Fury beat Wilder fairly in the second no, fight? He doesn't. Except, oh, do I accept that he beat him fairly? 
No, I don't accept that they beat him fairly. I accept that he whooped his ass. I accept that, but it wasn't fair. How how can you tell from, from a naked eye? How do you know how do you know that Fury was cheating? Huh? How do you know from a naked eye? He was how do I know he was cheating? Well, yeah. I don't know anything. I feel like it wasn't fair. There we go. I agree. I agree. <laughs> That's the first thing you, you don't know anything. You guys, you guys going on how you feel right now, man. Fury kicked his ass. I, I mean, Fury ain't shit, surprised. dog. Fury, yeah. Fury ain't nothing. Yeah. You can't name me now a fighter that was great. No, that Fury no, fought. But, not one. Even no, if Clifford fight, 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 he looked at silly. No, that wasn't no good fight. And Clifford was the greatest champion in the world. Klitschko was the reason why the heavyweight division was so boring for all these years. If you watch the history of the heavyweight division in the last 20 years, you'll know what you're talking about. You clearly Klitschko don't know. was the reason why the heavyweight division was so boring for these last years. Before Fury opinion. came and took the title. Well, how about... Klitschko Klitschko was the reason why people talking about the heavyweight mm -hmm. division is done. Tell me that ain't true. How you gonna tell me it's that ain't true when it's true? It's not true. Vladimir Klitschko is a great heavyweight. Yeah, yeah, he's he a great heavyweight, been, but he wasn't that's fighting that's no damn body, and they were saying that the division was dead. That's, that's the not, truth. That's not his fault. He, I mean, Larry Holmes didn't fight. It is his he fault. Was he was 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 dead. Hey, Banks, hey, Banks, but um, uh, if, if you were to look at uh, Wilder's resume, who has he fought? Let, well, who has Fury fought? Vladimir Klitschko and Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Oh, but that's about the only name you can call it, Klitschko. Next one. Right, right, the greatest champion who ever lived next. That's what we're gonna hear. Say what? You probably still think Bruce Selton's an active boxer. That's how an active oh, I don't is. even know who that is. Hey, exactly, oh. that's my point. That's my whole point. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. But no. I know who Lennox Lewis is, and he's better than Chris yeah. ever was. I think everyone does, even casuals do. You like you don't even know who uh, Lemon Brewster is. Or I, who, I don't know, know who Lemon Brewster is. I don't and know. That's what I'm saying. Um, he's the WBO so, champion for a little while. Hey, he went and got an eye fucked up. When he a talk Don King yeah. battle. Was was yeah, Lemon Brewster, Lame Brewster here? But I'm done. I'll just listen now. I'm not deserving. Was Lemon <laughs> Brewster nobody? Who Lemon Brewster? Nah, he was. Well, he, he he had he had a nice little stance. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he was a nobody. Was Sergey was Sergey Lyon yeah. coach to nobody? I don't even know who that is, dog. So yeah, you probably know. Like Kovich beat Lamar Bruce for the title. For what title? WBO. WBO. That's the one you're talking about. Well, he a nobody. What he? What happened to him after that? Uh, I think he fought Shannon Briggs not too long after that, and he got knocked out in the twelfth round. Yeah, that's who Shannon Briggs got the WBO from him. Shannon Briggs got the WBO from Lyle Kovich, the guy that beat Lamar Bruce. Oh, and what happened to him after Shannon Briggs knocked him out? But if you knew your boss boxing history, you know, I'm into, talking the truth. I'm talking the truth. What happened to him after all oh, Shannon Bridge knocked him out? He faded into obscurity and just had a whatever. Oh, right, that means he's a nobody. I and don't need to know it. But, hey, but you know what? I don't need to know it. I'm glad you said that he's a nobody because do you know do, do you know who fought uh Lyakovich when uh, <laughs> later on in his career? Uh, you know? It don't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Do you know Whoever fought him, he fought a nobody. It was Deontay Wilder. <laughs> but he was a nobody. <laughs> Well, Wilder fought so a lot before, before he was champion. Don't know what you're talking about. And then if Deontay Wilder fought, that means he was just training yeah, on him, dude. Deontay Wilder ain't got no amateur career, really. He was a bronze medalist. Don't know what you're talking about. I mean, but he ain't got no real amateur career. I got you. I got you, man. And, and, and that ain't shit, shit. How many nobody had all these heavyweights fight? All of them fight nobodies at some point. They got to come up out through the range. They ain't finna get jumping like no damn snake. I got you, you man. Think so? I mean, you know, like that was something to say. I mean, shit, I don't fight nobody. First fought goddamn 15 nobody. Just like goddamn Deontay and just like goddamn Anthony. Was Otto Wallen a nobody? Otto Wallen is a nobody to a lot of people. Okay, if you say so, yeah. Well, he's not, is he? He's not a nobody. Otto Wallen is a nobody to a lot of people, man. Well, That's a lot of people are nobody to a lot of people. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean they're trash fighters. I ain't calling well, no them trash fighters. I don't want to kick my ass. You know what I'm saying? You can't punish. You I'm can't just punish saying I don't know them, so that means they weren't nobody special. I got you. Well, there's. I ain't never claimed to be no goddamn boxing, boxing true fan. I'm a boxing fan, but I don't know a lot of fighters. Now I ain't never said I was that. I got you. I got you, man. Well, you, 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 yeah, yeah. So, so look, so thanks. Your dream fight is just Steve Fury fight again. I mean, that what was in the contract, so it should be honored if you ask me. Okay, I got you. 
So you do, do you think for sure if they fought a third time, like Deontay Wilder would uh would knock Fury out, like he would just decapitate him, get him out of there, put him on a stretcher, just whoop him? Man, I mean, he gonna have to decapitate him to get a decision because it robbed in the first fight. I mean, if you say so, I, I don't, I don't it's the truth. It's not I the truth. I, I, I mean, you told me you looked at the fight ten times, man. Then you say Fury threw the first punch. Fury didn't do shit for the first six rounds. I mean, he didn't get hit that often. Man, he got hit with the jab fifteen times. All right, man. If you say so. I mean, you look know, at I think, it and see. I think well, to find Wilder to be good, he need to sharpen up his skill. He needs to have better footwork, and and, and, and he can be that better boxer that he wants to be. I don't care who he gets in now. I'll all this time off. Oh 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 oh! Check this. I mean, fuck Wilder, though, man, because that's that's that bullshit anyway. If, 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 okay. Whatever goes on with that, we'll see. But that fighter, what's his name? The young kid tonight. He looked like he a cutie. The heavyweight that fought um, Molina. Bobby Awardley. That's his name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think if he go to Mayweather camp, man, he'll be special. <laughs> you think he'd be yeah. special? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got the same type style. He want to be that way. He want to be that way. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to have to learn not to lean down with a head like that. Because this guy stood up in front of Melina with a hand down for, I think, it was like 10 seconds. Melina didn't even throw a punch at him. Wardley hasn't got good defense and he's pretty limited. You know, he, his trim is not No, nah, he look like he's going to have some skills. He's man. Right. Maybe he can yeah, through the room. Be able, but he'll never be a world champion. Fabio, Fabio. You know what I'm saying? Well, he might not be because he's too damn, he, he too slick. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. He get rid of, I think if he get with Mayweather, then, man, he'll be somebody good. That's the type of heavyweight Mayweather needs. Uh, a slick, athletic boxer? And yeah, he seems like he's a slick one. Oh, yeah. he wants to be slick. I mean, he's trying. He, 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 he's got the whole Roy Jones Jr. thing going on. He's trying. Don't you, can't you see it? You see he got that kind of, he want that kind of style, so he need to go over there and see what it really is. Yeah, I actually, I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if he should go to Mayo this camp, but I think he should he should probably go somewhere in America because Do you guys think that Wardley's a bit on the small side? He looks to me he's like a little bit on the smaller side compared to like a Josh. They say he was this fire though, he was standing toe to toe with yeah, me. I know he's quiet, but what I'm saying is he doesn't look to carry the same sort of power or white or Joshua. Maybe he can develop it, I don't know. No, nah, he ain't gonna never develop that kind of power because he a true. He ain't gonna never sit on he ain't gonna never sit down on his punches. That was still a good win over Molina. I know Molina's faded, but it was still a good win. I mean, it's an 11th fight. Man, so Molina was looking for like someone to fall down on the canvas and not get up. He was just waiting on the opportunity. But Molina keeps getting these opportunities, doesn't he? You know, should Dave Allen do too? Well, you're tired now. Yeah, uh, that that's a subject for the day. We we love him, but we know he's awful. But we love him. <laughs> oh man! Oh, man. Well, I like that part, man. That was a good part. Oh, I even like the hand fight, man. The hand would have got down, stayed on that guy body. He didn't got him out of there earlier. Yeah, he could have had on a hand in the camp. Yeah, he's whatever, man. He need, he needs a lot of work, Campbell. Campbell, Campbell didn't really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it is full debut, so I won't, I won't hold it against him too much. Can't be too hot, shit. You can't. Well, again, the guy didn't want to go down, man. He was hitting him. He was hurting him to the body. He just wasn't going down. Like that guy he fought hasn't been stopped since his uh, pro debut. He's, yeah, I, think I thought he's they put him in there with that guy on purpose. Hey guys, you guys have a good night. I gotta go, man. All right, pop. Right, take, take care, man. Take care, take care, Banks. Thanks, thanks to y'all. God bless. Sir, next time, next time. Yeah, man. So yeah, now Cam Campbell Campbell's got a lot of work to do, you know. But I I think Eddie Hearn's gonna keep him active. You know, he he seemed like. He has some big plans for him. He said he wants to he wants to have him fight eight to nine times a year. Think, yeah. yeah, seven to nine or something like that. I was like, yeah. damn. Well, can I ask you guys' opinions? What do you think of the British undercards? Because some of these British undercards are terrible, aren't they? Oh I've my god. Get, well, this one, this one was this, this one was one of the best ones I've seen in a while. But like the Frank Warren, because I watch a lot of the Frank yeah. Warren cards. Oh my god, those are brutal. The Frank Warren cards are brutal to watch. Well, I, this gentleman I ever paid attention to. I got you. Gotcha. I don't. I mean, I watch some of the main. I watch the main events. I don't watch the undercard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I watch. I watch the cards from start to finish, and like you know, sometimes the Cheeseman the fight was good. I was impressed with Ted Cheeseman the way he came back, but he's oh. not going to get. But he's British level, isn't he? he's no never going to be more than that. 
I mean, I don't know, man. I'm starting to see Ted Cheeseman prove. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's gonna win a world title, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna get yeah. twenty. Like, that was the best fight on. Yeah. On the card. Yeah. It's a good that performance, was. but these are the sort of guys he should be putting away early. You know, really, uh, he's had a tough career. You James Milkham. Oh, you think he could have put that guy away early tonight? Yeah, he had him hurt in the fourth round. He was no, yeah. after him. He should have been really, yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Both of them, they, both of them, career are gonna be shorter. They fight, get into yeah. any more fights like that. They ain't gonna be mm-hmm. last for too much long. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Um, who do you want to see him fight next, Nathan? Uh, Ted Cheeseman. What, what, what are some realistic fights you think for him? God, uh, off the top of my head, someone like not a Jared Hurd. You know, someone who's a former world sort of champion who's just coming down the pecking order. Are there any more sort of Carson Jones guys around for him to fight? People a little um, bit better than twenty. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I know uh, Eddie Hearn mentioned Anthony Fowler, which you know that would be a good fight. Yeah, that would be the sort of level or a rematch. You know what? Hey, this this is for Banks. I actually like this fight. What do you think about this Banks? Uh, Deontay Wilder versus F.A. Jogba. You know what F.A. Jogba? Man, he gonna beat the shit out of F.A. Man, I agree. <laughs> I, I, if I was if I was Wilder's manager, that's the fight I would make. It's the perfect fight for him. Wow! Because you can put it on Fox. It'll get a lot now, of if I got to see him fight somebody, it's gonna be Dylan White because he should have been knocking the nigga out. You know, well, let me start saying nigga with y'all on the phone. He should have been knocking the guy out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even yeah. though I don't think Dylan White had the right to dictate terms, he should have been knocking out. Hey man, I mean, look, the Eddie Hearn trying to make, the, make make that fight happen. It just seemed like Wilder didn't want that fight. If that's what you say, man. If that's what you say. Well, no, <laughs> it's not. I, from what I remember, Dylan saying he wasn't gonna fight for no five million dollars. That's what I remember. What I, I, I heard is Wilder, even after that loss, he could still beat Dylan White. I just think he's got a little bit too much in the power punching department. You know, you can't be someone like Dylan White and stay away from those huge punches for twelve rounds. It's not possible. He's gonna go down. And we know that White's punch resistance isn't what it was, right? And we know White's, we don't know the state of his punch resistance at the minute. But it'll be a good fight as long as it lasts, you know? I don't I don't know if Dylan White ever had any kind of punch resistance. Not, he had, he has punch resistance, but it's been depleted since he lost to uh, Povetkin. I think he's, I think he's got, for whatever reason, it, he, he has weak legs. Whenever he gets touched yeah. on the chin, his legs go crazy. But his footwork is terrible. Dylan White's footwork. Yeah, well. I saw that. I paid attention to that tonight. That's 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 horrible to be an elite boss and, and 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 getting your feet that close together. He did. The guy was talking about it before the fight, but then when you look at the fight, you actually see him do it. You know but what I'm saying? And how did Dylan White get this far with no good footwork? It's amazing that he's made it got to level he's got really. When you look she, at it. he got a hell of a oh, left hook here, dog man. He'll fight. He's got the punches. He's got good power. You know, I think it's more determination and hard work that's got him where he is. That yeah, too, but he, he got he got great body work, man. Oh, he yeah, yeah, yeah. To talk about it. He got some yeah. good body work, though. He has, yeah. He's definitely improved. But if he'd lost tonight, there would have been I don't think there would have been a way back. Man, I wanted him to lose so goddamn bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't like him. Why? Oh, I think you're a good fighter. I don't like your attitude. You talk too much shit. Then you want to be nice at the end. Yeah. He get it still, yeah. Maybe, maybe he just wants to. Maybe he just wants to fight the best people out there and get a shot, man. Well, so, do you guys think he's that he's the best? He got a shot. He got knocked out by AJ. That was a shot. That was for the British you, title. Anthony Joshua. So, do you champion. guys think that he will be upgraded to the WBC champion anyway? And whoever wins yeah. that, for sure, jury. Listen, man. Get nothing with the WBC would surprise me. I mean, do you see what happened recently with the whole Estrada thing? Oh yeah, they made him up to soup up to. Oh, no. They champion. made him franchise. They made him franchise champion. I could see them doing that with Fury, whoever wins that, and then Dylan White would just be given a world title. But you know, they say the heavyweights can't be franchise because they can't move up in class. Estrada moved yeah. up before. Has he rules moved up? Broken. Rules can be broken. Yes. How many times? Um. <laughs> twice. Well, because he fought, yeah. he fought, he turned pro as a flyweight. And then he fought Chalatillo the first fight at 108 pounds, and he's at 115 now. So he's he's fought in three different weight classes. Well, the WBC have a history of giving people better. I mean, they gave Ken Norton his world title, didn't they? In 1978. 
you know. That gay kid in uh, that time? With Lennox Lewis as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they, didn't, they didn't give Lennox Lewis no title. I thought they fought for a baby they, title. No, they, did. they did. He fought for an interim or something, and then Riddick Bowe chucked it in the bin, and they just gave him the belt and made him champion because he was the number one contender. Well, Riddick, 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 Riddick Bowe Bo threw it in the trash. Riddick yeah. Bowe chucked it in the bin because Lennox Lewis knew that if the fight didn't happen, no matter what, after a certain date, they were going to strip him anyway, so Riddick Bowe oh. had a spectacle of it. He didn't just chuck it in the bin. He chucked it in the bin for a reason. For yeah, a reason, so I, right. He did that, but I'm saying Lennox Lewis got that world title reign out of it and then lost to all of McCall away. Yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah. But, yeah. but, but let's talk about Ken Norton again. So so he was given the WBC title? You said Ken Norton? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Was, was he really? Yeah. Because he didn't win it, he didn't win a vacant belt. Let me look it up quickly. I think that's true. It wasn't a vacant in it, so they just handed him one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they awarded him. Flash the says FA Jagba still needs. He does. He does need a lot of work. But he was talking. He was talking uh, shit about Wilder recently too. So make make the fight happen. Uh, man, man, come on! Didn't he? Was it was his his last fight or the fight before his last fight? Didn't he hit the canvas? Yeah, he hits the cat. Yeah, he's he's very he's very vulnerable. He's not he's, he's he's not that good. But I, listen, if Deontay Wilder was looking for the perfect comeback fight, that's it right there. No, nah, it's Dylan White. Dylan White, not Dylan White out. That's the perfect comeback fight if you got to fight somebody. Well, we don't want to fight him, so we got to be realistic. You don't want to fight him. How come so. he ain't gonna fight him? Because he didn't fight him when he was champion. He he was our four million dollars. Four million dollars, man. He he never made when he was offered that he never made four million dollars. He made like two four $2 million dollars. You gonna tell the champ you gonna get him four million dollars and that's it. The and he's supposed, he's supposed to bow down offer. and say okay. When if the that were the case, Floyd Mayweather would have never been with. He would have never got when, when the champ was offered four million dollars, he never touched four million dollars. He didn't know what that even feels like. It don't matter. He that fight bad. still was worth more than four million. God, God, God was trying to bless Wilder, and he, he told God, no, he said, F, F your $4 million. I'm the champ. Yeah, I'd have told God, I'd have told him the same thing, because he went on and made $100 million. Do you guys think that Wilder would go the WBO route instead? Because he's now been sorted at, sorted at number four. I was watching Boxing Squared's, Squared's video, and he was so saying you, that he's going to vacate the WBO. So what I'm saying is the WBO belt will probably be vacated anyway after the super fight. Then... Usyk will be fighting Joyce for a version of it, of its interim or the real one. And then Us then Wilder could go down that route. Yeah, he could fight, he could fight the winner of Usyk versus Joe Joyce. Which but but Usyk's supposed to be, to be fighting Joshua, right? Ain't that who Usyk's supposed to be fighting? Supposed to be, yeah. Let's just be real. Ain't Usyk supposed to be fighting Joshua? Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay, then, so why aren't we talking about make that fight here? Because because of this super fight supposedly that's gonna happen. The oh, hey, fuck a super, that ain't no super fight, man. AJ gonna beat the shit out for Fury ain't shit. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Yo, Biggs, you're in for a wild surprise whenever they fight. No, I'm not. no, I'm not. Not, not. I would have loved. No, I not, would have no. loved. I would have loved to talk to you the the, the the day before the rematch when they when when Fury before Fury splattered Wilder all over the MGM Grand. Oh. I would have loved to spoke spoke to you. We, we Bro, probably did it somewhere in the chat because I swear to God, I ain't got a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> you probably were, and then you, and then, and then you probably couldn't accept reality, and then this is why you're here, you know. Talking. Well, I couldn't accept reality. I know what the reality is. Wild and all. To me, I mean, you got like wasn't nothing wrong. You got like people don't put shit in their glove. You got like people don't pause the people. But we no, all we know do. this is really, we really do. real talk. Really this, this shit does happen. If that man says he feel like something happened to him, why do we gotta act like? Well, he he right. was wrong. Something did happen to him. He got he, he got his ass beat. Yeah, <laughs> but if he say if he say the man felt like he had some of his gloves, why you got to act like that ain't the truth? I mean, well, he, he wasn't one in the ring with no, the he, guy. I, well, I, I agree. Real, that's just, if he, he said that, he, 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 he had he he had he had the, his right hand and his left hand. That's what he had in his gloves. He didn't have no. Yeah, angry. man. I mean. I mean, while the young in the game, so and then he fucking with people who yeah. want to trust goddamn fear because he talking about Jesus Christ and all that shit. That nigga oh. devil, man. I don't care how much he talk about Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna trust him and let him do what he want to do when he being the biggest snake in the world, known for cheap. The truth is, Fury is already in Wilder's head, and we know he is. You can see. It. How do you, you how do you know that now? How do you know that? You can tell. It seems like Fury is in everybody's head. 
He is. So Fury got everybody yeah. thinking this. Well, not Fury, Eddie Hearn got everybody thinking this and that going on. But don't nobody really know the truth. Eddie Hearn. Well, yeah, what if Eddie, yeah. Eddie Hearn to do with anything? Eddie Hearn's not Tyson Fury's promoter. Eddie Hearn the one saying it's another fight going. Eddie Hearn saying we. Eddie Hearn was the one that came out and said the fight is done. Eddie Hearn is the one that said on the twin eight we're gonna yeah, have. Like Eddie Hearn was the one that said they got a billionaire investment group. Eddie Hearn is the one that said it could be here and it could be there. Eddie Hearn saying all that. So that's why I said that. Eddie Hearn, Eddie, Eddie Hearn is the one Eddie Hearn is one of the guys that, that offered Deontay Wilder life changing money to fight for Undisputed and Deontay Wilder turned it down. If you say so, bro, I mean I mean everybody got their own story what they believe. You coming from the UK and I'm from the US and we can't argue that because we ain't gonna never agree. I'm not from the UK. I'm an American and a proud one. I'm but you, you but you I say that you are an American man. But you like the UK, don't I? Oh, like no, the no, I don't. I would listen. I like the UK. I, I, he he say no, I don't. I like America, America better than the UK. You know, I right. to God, man, you know you're from Canada or somewhere. Right. I'm from South Florida. Florida. I'm from Miami. Miami. I'm from Miami. What's, what's, right. So you've got your opinion. I'm being objective here. I'm not being favoritism towards any fight fighters at all. Yeah, so I'm, you I'm, can I'm, have I'm your opinion, Miami, man. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm I'm about as American as it gets. Born and bred. Like, so I'm not being true. My bad. Too. Hey, you know, I'm, being yeah, biased. I'm not being biased. I can't hear my. What's my other guy? What do you say? I said I'm not being. But I'm not one of those biased British fans that only supports he the British fans. Oh, I call heavyweight fans. Yeah. Top job. I, I want to see Fury honor the contract. Now after that, I don't care what goes on, man. You got to be a man of your word in, in in the world, man. Everybody knows well, the that. The world is not doing his bit, is it? Where where is he? What's he doing? He he's scared. He's running scared. He's not doing anything. Why do it? What he's supposed to do? Well, he needs to say he needs to come back and fight. That's what he needs to do. Instead of oh, what well, he to want to fight Fury, man. Why do well, you want to come back and fight somebody besides Fury? He should take an interim fight. Come back. Why get does he win. have to take an interim fight? Why? So he can get a win because you know he needs to get some sort of win and he needs to get back. Doesn't matter Why who he fights. Why feel like he needs to get some sort of win? Why can't he fight for his title that he just lost? AJ didn't come back and fight for no goddamn interim after he fought lost to Ruiz. Why, well, why well, would he got to do it? This is a super fight. Pretty obvious, isn't it? There's man, that's not a super fight. It's a super fight for it's Great Britain. It's a money-making Britain. fight. It's a money-making fight. It's a super fight. fight for Great Britain. I don't want to see it. I don't care to see it. But you're one person. Your a lot of people want to see it. Your yeah, a lot of people don't, too. Because you're American, you would say that. That's your opinion, isn't it? You know, whatever. Well, no, nah, there's some Americans that want to see it. But I'm one that don't. So if you want to watch Wilder so, get his ass kicked again, you know, go ahead. Yeah, that's what off. I want to see. I want to see if Fury can really beat Wilder again. That's that's exactly yeah, what I, mean, I want to see. Is yes. How are you I mean, going to say that? Because it's pretty obvious, isn't it? The body language. Look at Wilder. He was scared. What body language? You ain't seen no body language, man. Wasn't he scared in the face to face? You could tell, couldn't you? That Wilder was kind of a little bit off. But they're pretty nervous in the locker room. Yeah, exactly. Come when? Before the uh, rematch with Fury, he was like pacing back and forth. He was like when? nervous in the locker room of the rematch. Man, they had did something to the man. They had spiked oh, his shit. Oh, they spiked this. I don't know what they spiked, man. That's what people saying. Uh, and yeah, he spiked his shit. That's like they did something to prevent him tonight. But, Unless it was the COVID. What about the man? It was something that would prevent him tonight. Wait, are you saying? Are you saying they spiked Vekin's water tonight? I'm okay. saying, unless it was the COVID, it was something wrong with the back in the night, man. That How the hell you gonna act like you didn't see that man fumbling all over the ring? Yeah. In the, the first round, he fumbling all over the ring. Oh, um, Dylan mean, White didn't even hit it, but y'all think he did. The first three rounds of this fight were pretty similar to, to, to the to the yeah. um, to the first fight yeah. because Hideki was getting dominated in the first fight. What well, I'm weekend. saying is, he was fumbling all over the ring, the, and Dylan COVID, White wasn't really even hitting it. The the the, the COVID did play a part in it, didn't it, guys? I agree it could have been the COVID. That's why I was saying I didn't know that. It was yeah, yeah. Wrong with him it was something wrong with Wilder that night. And that's the truth. I could see them. I could see yeah. it. Well, well, I mean, y'all can make oh, jokes and talk about he got beaten yeah. and he was scared and this and that. But you ain't never seen no fighter laying in a lady's lap before a fight. They yeah, always yeah, warming yeah, up. Yeah, this man yeah, laying in this woman's lap holding his stomach. That's just cool. Yeah, you got no in this well, lady's lap holding part. his stomach. But when Joshua fought Ruiz, we I could say the same thing about Joshua because he didn't look right. You know? They did something to Joshua, man. You didn't see that shit. Yeah. I know he didn't look right. Both fights went right, but you know, if you lose a fight, you lose a fight. 
There's no getting around. Joshua caught down family too. Joshua looking stupid in the corner. You didn't see that oh. shit? No, of course I did, yeah. But at the same time. So you, when you see that kind of stuff, you ain't gonna feel like something went wrong. No, but I knew Joshua didn't look right and Povetkin didn't look right, but he, he lost, didn't he? Yeah. Right, so if they don't look right, you gotta say something wasn't right. Well, it's like when Muhammad Ali fought Larry Holmes, he didn't look right. But they put him in. Holmes, man, man, the man was goddamn funny. But I, I don't know. But he had been beat so goddamn much he yeah. couldn't fight. Whoever made that fight should have been put in fucking jail. That, that fight should have never been made. Yeah, shouldn't But it's happened. That fight should have never been made, man. What they thought was going to happen. This man couldn't even talk in the interviews before yeah. the fight, really. Well, boxers, what you thought was going to happen, Sean? You lose a fight to somebody fair and square, don't make excuses like Wilder did. Don't just take it like a man and come well, back. Who's making and... excuses? I'm saying it looked like something was wrong, man. made so many fucking excuses. Oh, the stuff he was wearing to the ring was too heavy, you know. You can't make excuses. If you're a grown man and you're a fighter, you can't make excuses, can you, bro? You have to admit you lost. Can you can. Take it like a man. If you're a fighter, you're a warrior, right? Yeah. Man, fuck all that. Cal Fury to honor the damn contract. Fuck the AJ and Fury fight, because that fight ain't oh, shit. They ain't going to make the money. It ain't going to make the money y'all think it's going to make. And when they do fight, and if they do right. fight, AJ going to beat the shit out of Fury. Yo, Banks, I got a question. What's what up? if Wilder, what if Wilder, what if there was something wrong with him because of the fact that he knew Tyson Fury was, was coming to take his head off? What if he, what if he knew that deep down? What if? Because Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, that Fury was the case, that means he was scared of him. But, but he didn't have no reason to be scared of Fury because he beat this shit out of Fury in the first fight. So but he didn't he have didn't. to be scared. But he didn't. He didn't. Yes, he did, dog. Yes, he did. We can sit down and watch this fight together, dog. You'll see. I put out right. every punch Wilder throw and every punch you think Fury throw, which was a feint. It wasn't shit. He was just holding the hand up and making y'all hype. That wasn't shit, dog. He got he lost that fight. He won around six, six now seven, eight, now six, seven, eight, and ten. Those are the only rounds he won. He lost every other round and got knocked down in two of those. He got knocked down in two of those. So I don't understand how he won that. I can't, I can't see how he won that. That shit was a robbery, man. I don't well, give a damn how many people hands was up and out they and stick his draw. tongue out and act like he was doing something. He wasn't doing anything. They called well, he, he wasn't fight. doing nothing. And matter of no, no, fact, Wilder was making him look silly. And sometimes he was making Wilder look silly. But Wilder made him look silly more than he made Wilder look silly yeah. in the first fight. You clearly didn't watch the fight, you know. If you watch the fight, okay. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you since you watched it. Who threw the first punch? If you know what you're watching, who threw the first punch? At this point, say Fury. Who threw the first punch? Say Fury. Who threw the first punch? Because everybody act like they watched the fight, but everyone's been on boobs if you ask me. Because they didn't see shit. Oh my god, man, you're draining. You're draining. <laughs> you're really draining, man. You really Why you let somebody drain your energy, man? man? Why you let somebody drain your energy like that? No, because you, you. I don't need to say anything else to you right now. I mean, we'll change the subject to something else. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Um, yeah. No, no, no. This is what I want to do. I want y'all to go turn the fight on and let's see what happened in the first round. Count out the punches that got thrown and who ran. Yeah, you don't know what you're watching when you watch boxing. Yeah, yeah, true school. Turn it on and let's see. No, 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 because you don't know what to watch. You scared to see the truth? Is you scared of the truth? You watch boxing. I'm scared. I'm scared of the truth. You're scared of the truth. Scared of the truth. Scared of the truth. Fight to death. Very scared. Don't want to see the truth. I don't understand how people don't want to see the truth. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to hear what they all mind frame of who won the fight instead of their nipples. I just want to see on your screen, truth, Deontay Wilder throw that first jab to the body in their first fight. I want to see it on your screen. Okay. And then what? That that, that, that he won the fight because of the first jab? And then we want to watch that whole first round and we can talk from there. I don't want to talk about it. I know you don't want to see that. You don't want to see the truth. 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 In this particular thing. So, you don't want to see the truth. I didn't analyze it and analyze it. Why is it for the last and third fight? Yeah, Bank, do you have a channel? I'm working on it, man. Okay. It, it, yeah, it, I just I just created it last week, bro. I don't want to see it. You're an LDBC fanboy. That's all you want. 
Who me? Yeah. Are you? I watch you able to tell the truth, dog. I'm not a fanboy of any group. I yeah. watch you know, um, yeah. what's, what's the guy name they be talking about? Whoops. Tyson Fury, Tyson, he don't say Tyson Fury, but Tyson fan. I watch him too. I watch True School. He ain't no LDBC guy. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm not an LDBC guy. I watch LDBC too, though. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, I'm a Boston fan. I just ain't been able to well, goddamn be all the way into it throughout my life like that. But I've been a Boston fan for years. Yeah, if you say so. No, it's the truth. I mean, you can ask me some questions. I mean, as long as there ain't people who ain't nobody's, I can ask them. We can gauge how much of a fan I am. Well, we, I, I ask them. If y'all want to. So. I mean, you talking about fighters that I don't really know about. I'm saying I'm not a fan like that, but I'm not no goddamn. What's what the man? You, you've, you've stated that. Okay. You stated that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. All yeah. right. Well, hold on, Banks. I'm going to cut you off real quickly. You got somebody else that just joined. Uh, Troy Graham. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all have a good one, bro. All right, Banks. Nice talking to you. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, hey, you saw the fight, man? I saw it, man. I know you're happy. 